I'm here to talk about another of the movies I watched for the Everyone's a Critic Film Challenge, or of course, spoilers of course, but this one I don't know if I even need to say that because it's an older movie. Um, the prompt is a group of teens, and I picked an older movie because this is one that I've heard about forever, but I've never actually watched. So I decided it was time to watch The Faculty. And I don't know, it has a really big, big name cast, especially for the time. Like, it's very much a product of its time, let's say. But it was 1998. It's like a horror sci-fi film. It's got Josh Hartnett, who was really big in like the late 90s and early 2000s. Uh, Elijah Wood, um, Usher, Salma Hayek. John Stewart like there's so many people and it was directed by Robert Rodriguez it was a pretty good movie I actually pretty much enjoyed enjoyed watching it for the most part it very very much felt like a late 90s early 2000s film for better or worse like if you like that then that's wonderful I for me it was very nostalgic so I did enjoy it but it just, there was something about it that was very much like a throwback to teen movies of that time. And there are parts of it that reminded me a lot of Cabin Fever, just the way they portray like almost the like alien possession illness thing a little bit. And more than anything, it reminded me of old Star Trek. Two different things. So there was Star Trek Next Generation episode where people were taken over by these weird alien things out the back of their neck. And then that was a lot of what it reminded me of, like the way it changed the faculty in this movie. The other one was Star Trek movie where like this bug crawls in their ears because that scene was basically in this movie. So there were a lot of similarities there. And I'm sorry for all the Star Trek references. I'm a Trekkie. I'm actually unapologetically a Trekkie. So not sorry but that was just one of the things that came to mind right away is how much it resembled those episode and movie from Star Trek um, but I did enjoy watching it the ending was just like very I don't know it just felt very typical to the times like oh everything's fine now you know and everybody shares a knowing look that experienced it and life goes on for some reason that just seemed like right on brand for the time so it's not one I would necessarily like obsess over or watch a bunch but I'm glad that I watched it it was a fun watch um and it was about a group of teens so <laughs> that totally worked